Welcome to our top 10 tips on how to make awesome travel videos. We're super excited to share our experience and knowledge with all of you out there that really want to showcase where you travel to. We are a family of five that loves adventure, connecting with people, and trying something new. Try something new every day. Six years ago, we got rid of all of our stuff and moved into an RV full-time to give us the freedom to explore the world. So hit that subscribe button and come along on the adventure with us. We only get one life to live, so let's live it up. Let's do it. All right, and number one is know your gear. I'm gonna pass that on to Jimmy. All right, so it's really important to just play with this stuff before you go out on an adventure or before you go out to make a travel video because there's so many times that we get this the day before we head out mm -hmm. on some epic adventure and then we get out there and there's something amazing going on and I'm going, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to play with this thing yet. I don't know. And Sandy's yelling, Can come you on, relate? did you get the shot? I'm like, uh, I'm still trying to get this thing figured out. So really take some time a day or two before you go out and play with it. Perfect example, we just got the new Air S, the Air 2S, and we were on a bridge in the Florida Keys the other day with the RV, and I go to fly it and it says, you must update the firmware before you can fly this. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, oh my God, Boo. oh my God. This process will take at least 10 minutes. Well, it ended up taking about 20 minutes. We got it all updated, but if I would have done that before we went out to this bridge in the Florida Keys with the RV, I would have known that. You'd be so, ready to shoot as soon as you got there. Right, so know your gear before you go is our first tip. Play with it, take some time and really understand it, watch some tutorials on it, and learn this stuff before you go use it in the field. All right, number two, be confident on camera because Everybody knows you don't want to watch a video if the person is, you know, not feeling confident on the camera and they're like talking low, looking down. Maybe you're holding the GoPro and you're like, yeah, I'm in the Florida Keys and um, there's people around. I really yeah, don't want to talk that, that's... because I'm embarrassed. And, you know, if you want to vlog, you have to own it. You have to really own it and not care who's around you. Really be excited, project your voice, have energy. And even when you have a lot of energy, it doesn't come across that way on camera. So you can overdo it a little bit just to make sure because there's nothing worse than getting into editing and realizing, uh, I was talking too low or I looked away from the camera too much or I was looking down because, you know, I just wasn't feeling it. One of the biggest things that we always promote is really be comfortable and have fun because if you're having fun and you're confident it really really shines through on the other side in the camera all right number three is have a hook to your video now let's explain this real quick a hook is something that grabs people attention and shakes them up at the very beginning of your video and says hey this is pretty cool stuff pay attention mm -hmm. and a hook can last anywhere from five to 15 seconds and we start every one of our videos with a hook because as people are scrolling through YouTube and seeing what videos they wanna watch, you better grab their attention because if you don't, people aren't gonna watch your stuff. So what are some examples of a hook, Jimmy? Oh, let's see here. Something epic, crazy, shocking, out of the box that happens any point throughout your video, you just pull that little nugget out and put them in the beginning and that's a hook that grabs people's attention. So say one of our recent videos, I went to go catch the drone while we were on a boat and as I had my hand up, Jimmy pressed down a little bit on the drone and it cut my finger and so I was like ah, ah, ah. and so he put that in the very beginning so people go I have to see what happened like did her finger get chopped off you know <laughs> or would a montage be considered a hook yeah you can do a montage in the beginning just anything exciting out of the ordinary that would help well that showcases what's to come later in the video so people go oh if that's later in the video, I have to watch it now. So after number three, which is the hook, which would be the very, very, very beginning of your video, now we have to go into the elements of a story. And there's three elements that every story must have, and that is the beginning, middle, and an end. If you don't have these three elements in your video, your video is missing something. I always, I always describe it like this. You're making a, a cake, right? You're baking a cake. You need all the ingredients for your cake to be complete. Otherwise, your take, cake is not gonna taste that good. So every video must have a beginning, which kind of sets the stage. The middle is like the journey that you're going on and the end is the conclusion or wraps up, summarizes what the whole video was about or what just happened or what was your takeaway. So make sure you have those three things in every video. Tell a story. After your hook. For number five, we have throw in extra elements, whether it's a time-lapse, slow-mo, hyper, what is it, time warp. Time warp, yeah, time warp. You want to add one. in some other elements opposed to just a straight shot the entire time. Keep people guessing, 
let them wonder what's going to happen next, you know? If you got those some crazy time lapse of the clouds going by or people or slow-mo of the kids jumping in the pool or off the boat, something just epic, you want to make sure you add to it, add more values in your videos and do some other cool elements. So I always like to say this GoPro is amazing because not only can you shoot video, you can do time warp, which is moving time lapse. You can do time lapse and you can do slow-mo. So there's four elements that you could add in just with this little camera here. So GoPros are amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, brings us to number six. And once you add in all those elements, you could also add in some B-roll too. So number six is B-roll. And B-roll, we say it's beauty shots, but B-roll means it's actually footage that complements the A-roll. The A-roll would be your story or the thing that drives your video forward. And the B-roll is a layer on top that kind of helps accentuate what the story is. So I like to look at B-roll as it really showcases, it's, it's another level of showcasing where you're at. So say we have, we're in the Florida Keys right now, we have a gorgeous beach behind us with the palm trees. So you really wanna showcase the surrounding, like you got the water splashing on the shore in the sand, and you got the palm trees swaying in the wind. So showcase that. You want the viewer to feel like they're there with you in these amazing locations. Or whatever's going on, if there's something going on where you wanna highlight details of it, you know, really showcase someone's cracking open a coconut. So you want the machete, Shoo, going through the coconut. Show, show details of that because that just makes the people feel like they're there with you. So B-roll is super important. Add to your videos. All right. The next one is time of day matters. So super important. we watch a lot of vlogs, travel vlogs, and there's some really cool guys out there like Sam Kohler and Las LeBlanc. And some of their shots are so epic. And so we try to break down how do they go get these epic shots? And it's time of day. They go out and do most of their journeys at sunrise or sunset and the sky is just this beautiful oh, orange. The golden hour. The golden hour, right? So time of day really, really matters. So if you wanna get those epic, crazy, oh my God shots, really plan your shoot to get those shots at the right time of day. Get up early, go out at sunset, and you'll get some really cool stuff that will just really add a lot of value to your videos. Another thing, another really important factor with time of day is say you're traveling wherever and you're going to tourist attractions. Mm. The time of day really matters because we've experienced this all over ba Bali, Thailand, the Philippines, it is the amount of people that are at a location. So if you are one of the first ones there, there's only a few people there. But if you go a few hours later, there's hundreds of people hundreds. there. So you can't get a cool shot if you have so many people around. You know, you have to wait, sit and wait for everybody to pass by. And then you're like, all right, cool, I got my shot. And then five more people pass by, so you have to wait again. So depending on the time of day, if you get there super early, you, ha you pretty much have the place to yourself and you get all those cool epic shots, landscape shots of wherever you're at and you don't have many people. So time of day matters. All right, number eight, moving along pretty quick here. Number eight is shoot to edit. And that's a really big that's point. That's all him. So we used to go out and we did this technique called spray and pray, which means you film everything and you pray that you got something good at the end. Yeah. And then you Not get home good. and you spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours editing. And that's what is a big turnoff for a lot of people and why they don't want to make mm -hmm. travel videos because there's a lot to go through. If you do an eight hour adventure, I mean, you got to come home and go through eight hours of footage. So shoot to edit. While you're shooting, think where this is going to play in your story. Do I have a beginning? Do I have a middle? And do I have an end? And when you got all that and you feel good about it, you can actually put down the camera and enjoy the rest and of the have day. Have some fun. Yeah, because you know you got everything that you need when you get home to edit. So shoot to edit is number eight. It doesn't have to be stressful doing all of this stuff. It sounds like a lot, but if you're actually having fun and are prepared going into all of these things that you do, then it could be pretty seamless. Right. We've gotten it down to a science just because we're, we're very comfortable shooting video anyways, but that's why we know that you can do it too with all of these tips it will help you get you going and you don't have to stress out. Okay, number nine is shoot in threes. So this is really important, people don't even think about this, is shooting in threes, wide, medium, and tight. So how we like to explain it is say you're at a location and you really wanna show people where you are. So you do the wide shot, but then you do a medium shot to bring people in. So if you, any movie or TV show that you watch, they're gonna do this. So pay attention next time and you'll be like, oh, that's what they're talking about. So shoot in threes. Oh, what's your song, Jimmy? All right, you so we get to a song, we get, we get to a location and I always say, one, two, three, we shoot in threes. One, two, three, we shoot in threes. I don't know how good my singing is, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll give it a shot. All right, that brings us to number 10, which is show, don't tell. You yes. wanna take, take this one over? All right, so show, don't tell. 
We love to do a side-by-side -side comparison of a talking head saying, man, I went to the Philippines, it was so epic, we did all of these cool things, we hung out with elephants, and we snorkeled, and we swam with manta rays, it was super cool. Now, you can look at me saying all of that, which is probably pretty boring, or you can have the same shot and put all of the B-roll on top of that of when I say, we swim with manta rays, we go to the clip of us swimming with manta rays and you can see them all beautiful. Or when we went and hung out with elephants, we go to the shot of us hanging out with elephants. So if you show the footage and the visuals to what you're saying, it is way more mesmerizing for the viewer opposed to just watching you as a talking head. So always, always, always get the B-roll, get the footage of what you want to talk about in your video and showcase the actual footage opposed to you just talking about it. All right, so I hope you got a lot of value out of our top 10 tips to make better travel videos. We have an online course that covers all of this. We have a huge, huge, huge passion for travel and documenting our adventures and sharing it with the world and inspiring other people to get out there and try something new. And we hope that you guys enjoyed this. And what, Sandy? Well, if you do want to learn more, this was just the tip of the iceberg. We have a ton more information in our travel course. So stay tuned. If you want to learn more, sign up. And get out there and try, try something, something new. new.